Hey, what's up, guys? Emo14 here coming at you with some news. Um, there's a new bandless shop today. Um, this would be a live reaction, but unfortunately, one of my friends um, accidentally spoiled it in the text. So we're just going to go through um, it real quick, and then I'm going to get my thoughts on it. Um, Norden's banned, so that's um, uh, pretty good. Again, I'm going to go into more specifics after I highlight all of them. Um, Terratop Limited, uh, Graphic Screamer Limited, Greener Limited, and then Skullcrabat, Pendulum Call, and Wisdom Eye all at three. Okay, so let's talk about these. Um, I think I think I would be flipping the shit if I hadn't been if I had been spoiled, but um, as it is, um, Norden being banned definitely a good move. It's been way too long. Um, I think Institution and Fusion Substitute by themselves are fair, but um, combined with uh, but Norden itself just being able to um, be spammed in decks. It's not even it's not even Zodiac. I'm sure some I'm sure someone um, would find. I'm sure someone would find a way to make another fusion substitute combo with Norton somewhere down the line. So hitting this rather instant fusion and uh, fusion substitute was definitely the right move. Um, I agree with that. Um, what else? Well, yeah, Terra Top to one. I think that's a good call as well. It's kind of the nuts. You, like you open it and you go like plus a gazillion. Um, I do think banning it would be a little harsh because you know putting it one affects the consistency a lot. Um, and I think it's a really good one of to have. I don't think it's worthy of being so broken that it's banned, because especially since it, it depends on, you know, I guess the deck you're using it in. But, um, I guess if you're playing, like, actual speed or dressed in PCU. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, I think that was a good call. I think ban a ban would have been a little harsh. Um, Jurassic Fury did not need to get hit at all. Like, okay, yeah, sure, now with Northern Band 2, is it going to be as powerful? But, like, this was, I mean, this card is, like... It's fine. I mean, it allowed sixty decks to be sixty card decks to be good, which is great. It um, breathes life into uh, Infer Infernoids and made a lot of like cool things with like Pedro's Oak and stuff. Yeah, it's really good, but like it definitely doesn't need to be put to one. <laughs> like no, like it, it's not the problem at all. Um, I'll get that call in a little bit. Um, and yeah, so I need to wrap this up quickly. But um, yeah, so again, I don't agree with that at all. Should have remained untouched. Not the problem at all. Three is the problem. And Norton, they got rid of that. And then putting these three to three is um, because you know you got that Pendulum Evolution, Pendulum Evolution um, uh, Star Deck. Um, not Star. Well, it was the Star Deck, but then now cannot, the TCG Konami made a set um, coming out on. Uh, June 23rd, and the um, this goes into effect June 12th. So it seems just a little, you know, just a little um, interesting. Um, also, something that just pops in. Um, so that's obviously product pushing, like Tech Konami usually does. So um, no, uh, um, no surprises there. But uh, yeah, Norton's great. Grass and Union didn't happen. Teratops fine. Although I wouldn't complain if it's staying at three. Um, also, this means that this list will be in effect for Nationals, which will be very interesting. means probably, um, unless I'm forgetting of some booster set other than a Pendulum one coming out between now and Nationals. Um, uh, Drake, uh, Draco variants are probably going to be the top, uh, top dog for that, um, since Paleo can't really stand up to Draco too much. And yeah. Um, but other than that, that's a quick just discussion video. Would have been reaction video if my friend had spoiled it for me. But yeah, other than that, um, thanks for watching, guys. If you suck, come subscribe or on go channel as quickly as possible. Links will be in the description um, to various playlists. Um, uh, well, I haven't done this in a while, so it's hard for me to remember. Um, you get ranked on ranked matches, you get deck profiles, um, general nerd discussions and reviews, as well as my challenge team, team Fandom Mood Trailer Players. So, all the chairs from Fandom Moves in 2017 I found interesting. Um, I just added the latest one for War of the Planet of the Apes. I will say the second Spamming trailer, trailer has a major plot spoiler in it in the trailer, which is stupid. Um, so, just be aware of that. Barry Nat, thanks for watching, guys, and see you all next time. Hope to be doing more videos soon.